foot technique. So first of all, playing with the inside of the foot, I want to make nice flush contact. I want to make a nice flat surface. If my foot is angled in any way, it's not going to go straight. If I want this ball to go straight, I need this foot to be straight. Okay, so nice flat surface for the ball to make contact with. And when I push through it, I want to keep that flat. Okay, and even I can see I'm going a little bit that way. So think about stepping through the ball, keeping this nice and flat, nice and firm. If this is weak, if this is weak, my pass is gonna be weak. Okay, so a lot of people, they'll have good contact, but when they, they'll have good uh, foot flexion, but when they make contact, the foot goes weak. Okay, you're good till here, and then you hit it, and then you come weak. So focus on keeping your foot nice and firm, keeping a nice flat surface for the ball to make contact with, keeping it through the ball, stepping through to your target. My foot is staying on the ground, but I'm hitting through the center of the ball. If you're leaning back, if you're getting too far under, it's gonna pop up. Say you're warming up. How many times are you just passing? Yeah, whatever, pass, let's start the practice. Every pass you make, whether it's warm up, practice, drill, in a game, take pride in those passes. Do not give the ball away. If you want to take care of the ball better, become a better playmaker. These are soccer passing drills you can do by yourself. First, let's just play two touch. Okay, so everything we talked about, good passing technique, body over the ball, open up the foot, playing with both feet. The only other thing I would focus on here when you're doing this is this first touch. Okay, because if I wanna play two touch, if I wanna play two touch, and that ball sticks in my feet here, it's difficult to play two touch. It's difficult to get a good pass, the pass that you want. So focus on the quality of this first touch. Not so far that you lose control of it. Not so weak and so close that you can't play quickly, but just out of your feet so you can touch, quickly pass, quickly step into it. Okay, the other thing I want you to notice with all these is, it's on the toes. It's not flat footed like this. If you practice like this, you play like this. So when you're doing these drills, focus on the quality, the sharpness of movement. Always on the toes, quick to react, because if there is a bad pass, I can quickly get there, set my feet, play that pass. Good quality on every pass. Then you can receive into space. Okay, so don't always stop the ball dead, especially in a game. If I always stop it here, I'm easy to defend. Attack with your first touch. Get away from the defender with your first touch. So into space, play your pass into space, play your pass. Be creative, different techniques, play your pass. You can play one touch. Okay, so again on the toes, focus on quality. When you're playing one touch, the contact point, the focus on the contact point becomes even more important. So you can see when I'm hitting these passes, I'm over the ball, but a lot of people hit their pass and they're not even looking at the ball. They're already looking at the target. Yes, you wanna have your head up, but when it's time to make contact, find the center of the ball if you wanna make it go straight and actually watch your foot to the center of the ball so you make good contact. Sharpness of the feet, playing with both feet, inside of the foot. If I ever don't like my technique, say I had a bad pass on my left, I'm not just gonna go back to my right. I'm gonna come back to my left. I might get an extra 10. Really tighten it up until I'm happy with that technique. 